Hi everyone, it's Nathan here from Mighty Lancer Games and today we're just going to do a quick test to see how the new Tesseract Glow paint from Games Workshop works through an airbrush. So we're here in the spray booth and we've got our test Space Marine and our Tesseract Glow, it's already loaded up into the airbrush and uh, we're going to give it a go. So we'll uh, put on our PPE. Uh, I've got our gloves on and, uh, and away we go. So we'll give him a chance to dry and then we'll show you the result. So we've got a couple of scenery pieces that are 3D printed and we're just going to put a little bit of the Tesseract glow on these because we want them to look really cool like the runes are glowing. So one's a Necron themed piece of scenery uh, and the other is just a runic standing stone. So we're going to blast some paint on those while we've got it in the brush. So here we are with our finished pieces. Uh, first of all, we've got our Space Marine. So I'm pretty pleased with how he's turned out. It's very much like the contrast paint in the way that it goes on, in that it uh, pulls in the recesses and uh, goes a little bit splodgy on the flat surfaces of the armor. But all in all, I think this is, uh, he's turned out pretty good. So if you fancy lime green Space Marines, you've got your own chapter of lime green Marines, you could definitely use this stuff. Uh, the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed that we've left the mould lines and the little tabs across the top of his backpack on and we've done that entirely on purpose because I rushed it to get ready for the video. Uh, normally we'd clean those off, at least a little bit anyway. Uh, so he looks pretty good, but if you were just going for green lenses on your Space Marine, uh, I would probably recommend putting this stuff on with a paintbrush rather than trying to airbrush it on such a small area, but then different people have different levels of skill, so that might be your forte. Uh, moving on to our first obelisk, so I undercoated this with uh, white scar in the recess and then sprayed the blodge on with the airbrush as you saw and uh, I think that's come out pretty well just as, a, just as a test. So you see I put a bit too much on with the airbrush, blasted too much into the uh, thing because we've got a few dribbles down the front but the way it's dried I think that looks pretty, uh, pretty funky might have a, another go at that before I say that that's the finished piece and the uh, space skeleton themed obelisk that we've got here so I did the same with that undercoated inside the recesses with the white scar just to make sure that we got a, a really fine a really bright uh, glow effect and I think that that's pretty good so my intention with this is that we're going to overpaint the whole thing apart from the recessed area with black and then what I'll do is I'll go back over with a brush and just run a little bit around the edges with the Tesseract Glow just to make it look as if it's uh, glowing out of the recess onto the surrounding black stone. So they've come out really good, but what do I think and how did it actually work? So it flowed through the airbrush really well. No thinners required. It worked uh, a lot better than I expected, if, if I'm entirely honest. The only thing that I will comment, if you are planning on using this through the airbrush, is that it is a bit of a pain to clean out of the airbrush. Whatever pigment or whatever's in the stuff, it really doesn't want to come out. And it took two or three goes through with a uh, proper airbrush cleaner to get the residue out of the bottom of the cup. So if you are an airbrush user, you'll probably have good cleaning products and what have you on hand, but just be aware that it can be a little bit sticky in the bottom of your, uh, bottom of your airbrush there. But all in all, I think it's a fantastic finish. Um, me personally i would stick to putting it on with a brush but everybody's uh, got their own opinion on things but definitely if you fancy it give it a try so i hope this video has been helpful to you if you like the video please like it with the little thumbs up symbol down below and subscribe to our youtube channel that's really awesome have a great day bye